Hello everybody, Cameron Bash here, one of the heads of the movement, and today I have something that I need to talk to you all about. You see, it's been a long time since I've appeared in the flesh like this on a video or a stream, and there's good reason for that. A reason that has not only had an impact on myself, but an impact on this channel as well. So that is why I wanted to bring you this update, to not only explain what the heck has been going on and why things have been so irregular, but to also share with you a shining light at the end of this tunnel as well. For the last little while, well, nearly two years to be in fact, I've been suffering with something known as Graves' disease. For those of you who don't know, Graves' disease is an immune system disorder that results in your body producing more thyroid hormones than needed, which in turn can lead to a number of different symptoms and consequences due to the amount of body systems that the thyroid contributes towards regulating. Unfortunately, in my case, I ended up with quite a few of these symptoms, and they hit me pretty hard. From fatigue to weight fluctuation, harsh vomiting and raised anxiety, I've had a touch of nearly every symptom that this thing brings. But the one that has affected me more than most is the impact that it has had on my eyes. As you will likely be able to see throughout this video, these things aren't straight. And that's not just something that you can see, but something that I can see as well. When you see two fingers, I see four. And it's been that way since around November 2021, continuing to get worse over that time. So when you take all of these things and add them up, it's just made life that much more difficult over the last 20 months or so. Whether it's the fatigue just deleting days from my life because I don't have the energy to be awake for more than a few hours at a time, or the double vision causing me to fall down flights of stairs. It's just been one thing after another. And I haven't wanted to be on camera during any of this time because, to be honest with you, I've just had a lot of anxiety about people seeing me like this. Don't get me wrong, I definitely know that there are people in this world who have had it harder than me and I don't want to take away from that. But this has been my own personal little hell since 2021. And that's because I'm someone who prides themselves on hard work. Whether it's what I do here on YouTube or what I do in my real life for work, putting in that work, as OTP would say, is rewarding to me. A good day's work gets me excited to get up and continue that hard work the next day, and it's one of those little feedback loops that I feel has been really good for my development and just life in general. So to have that taken away from me was tough, and in turn, I made it a lot tougher on myself by not accepting that. Despite being in a position where I was meant to be resting, I still did everything in my power to satisfy that part of my brain that needed to work, such as through projects like the FAM Royal Rumble and Fanniversary 5. That workload and pushing to deliver those projects in the timely manner that we did definitely took more of a toll on my health than I was expecting, but at the same time, if I hadn't have done that, I'm not too sure where my sanity would be during that time either. It's one of those tricky situations where I'm not really sure what the right answer is. All right, so you get it. It's been tough, it's had an impact on myself, it's had an impact on this channel and the amount that we've been able to upload, but what now? Where do we go from here? Well, that's the shining light at the end of this tunnel, folks, because things are not only starting to look up in terms of my health, but they're looking up for this channel as well. Tomorrow, as I am recording this video on July 13th, I will be going in for an operation to have a complete removal of my thyroid. I won't get too deep into the specifics of this surgery as it can be quite graphic, but your, your thyroid is here, so I'm sure you can imagine what they're gonna need to do to get in there. By removing my thyroid and then moving over to taking a synthetic thyroid hormone to replace what the thyroid typically does, I will hopefully be free of many of the issues I've been suffering with over these last two years, and then from there can start getting back to my old regular self. I am likely going to require a second surgery at some point over the next few months following this one to correct the double vision that I have in my eyes, as that is likely a problem that isn't going to fix itself. But of course we have to see how this operation goes first before deciding on those next steps. The surgery is considered to be a major operation in which the recovery time can be pretty severe, ranging from two weeks all the way to two months. During that time, I can't be certain on how much content will be coming to this channel. We may have the odd small video go up from time to time, or it could end up being a little bit of a ghost town. It's hard to say right now without really knowing how this surgery is going to impact me, but when we're finally done with that recovery and I've climbed over to the other side of that hill, things around here are going to be popping off in more ways than one. 
from FAM Productions to all of the other movement related content that I mentioned in our recent rebranding video, all of those things will be on their way and more. The planning that has gone into some of these projects that we've been working on is beyond anything that we've ever done before. So when I'm fully back on my feet and can finally help the team bring these ideas to life, you guys are in for a real treat. There's just one other reason I wanted to make this video today and that was to deliver a message to any of you out there who may be in a similar situation to me or feeling in a similar way to me right now and I just wanted to talk to you for a moment. I'm not sure about you guys but when I see or hear someone talking about things that they've gone through that sticks with me and by simply having the understanding that there are other people in this world going through similar struggles of their own it helps me understand that these thoughts that are running through my head where I'm calling myself lazy and unproductive because I'm not doing the work that I want to do it's just unnecessary and counterproductive to me and my situation. So yeah, whether you happen to be going through the exact same thing that I'm going through or just another struggle of your own, I just want you to know that you're not alone and me and many other people around the world are right there by your side dealing with these battles ourselves. We won't always get the outcomes that we're expecting. We won't all get a happily ever after. But what we can do is stop beating up ourselves for things that are outside of our control and maybe just go that little bit easier on ourselves. But there we have it guys, there's the update for you. Sorry if this video was a bit wobbly and felt all over the place in some aspects. I still need to get used to being on camera again, it's gonna be a process. But that is everything that you should need to know. Not 100% sure when I'm gonna see you guys again, but hopefully it will be soon. And until then, take care of yourselves.